Okay, so welcome back guys and of course a uh, good day to you all Okay, so for today's video under um, again statistics and probability for quarter 3 module 7 We're going to study the percentiles and t distribution Okay, so before we go on I would like to thank again the adept and Bataan for making this module at syempre Huwag yun kalimutan na Yan, so don't forget to subscribe ano? and of course uh, kindly share this video a video ayan na <laughs> video bro bisaya no ay uh, this a uh, video no for uh, others para makatulong tayo sa kanila okay so let's see at uh, the uh, competency for this module okay so for today's video for for today's module we need to know or what we need to uh, uh, learn today is the first one ayan Okay, so illustrate the uh, t-distribution and for number 2, we have to identify the percentile using the t-table. Okay, so let's proceed to our lesson proper. Okay, so for what is it for our lesson proper? Yan. Okay, so let us uh, read first what is a t-distribution. Okay, so t-distribution also called students t-distribution is a family of distributions that look almost identical to the normal distribution curve only a bit shorter or stouter okay so the t distribution is used instead of the normal distribution when you have small samples okay so maybe others among you listening uh, now uh, already heard about the uh, z distribution Okay, so now uh, we have T distribution. So what is the difference between Z and then T? Okay, so this is the uh, difference actually, you know. When you have uh, samples greater than 30, then you use Z. Okay, then when you have uh, samples less than 30, then we use T distribution. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, don't, mind, don't mind the Z distribution because we have the uh, T distribution for now, you know. Okay, so let's see if there is a module uh, discussing about the Z distribution. Okay, so again, I just uh, simply give the uh, differences of the Z and then the uh, T distribution. Okay, so let's continue reading. Yeah? Okay, so the larger the sample size, the more the T distribution looks like the normal distribution. In fact, for sample sizes larger than 20, okay, so example, more, uh, more degrees of freedom. Okay, so what is the uh, degree of freedom? Okay, so later on, uh, we will talk about the uh, degree of freedom. Of what is a degree of freedom? What is the use of degree of freedom? Okay, the distribution is almost exactly like the normal distribution. Okay, so the uh, t-distribution is similar to a normal distribution. It has precise mathematical definition. Instead of uh, diving into complex math, let's look at the use you are useful properties of the t distribution and why it is important in analysis of set of statistic uh, statistical quantitative data okay so actually guys uh, this is very important you know, because uh, it's very helpful when you are conducting a research especially when you are grade 12 okay so if you are grade 12 then you are conducting now your uh, quantitative research or the uh, pr2 then you can watch this video or if you are grade 11 then you know someone studying uh, research for this second semester then you can share this video for them to understand what is t, dis t distribution okay so maybe uh, others can um, uh, use this in their uh, data analysis okay let's see first the uh, properties of the uh, t distribution okay so for the first one okay so like the normal distribution the t distribution has smooth shape okay so for number two like the normal distribution the t distribution is symmetric if you think about folding it in half at the mean each side will be the same for number three like the uh, standard normal distribution okay or the z distribution this is what i'm talking about earlier the t distribution has a what is this mean of zero okay 
So for number 4, the normal distribution assumes that the population standard deviation is known. The T distribution does not make this assumption. Okay, so actually the uh, this or this properties of T distributions uh, also differentiates this this uh, this uh, the distribution to the Z distribution. Okay, so for number 5, the T, the T distribution is defined by the degrees of freedom. These are related to the sample size. Okay, so what are those mean? Okay, so we are going to uh, learn this later. Okay, so for number uh, 6, the T distribution is most useful for small sample sizes when the population standard deviation is not known or both. Okay, for number 7, as the sample size increases, the T distribution becomes more similar to normal distribution. Okay, so may, so I think some of you now is wondering what this, this properties means. Okay, so don't worry because you are going to learn everything about it as this module or as we uh, go on to uh, this module. And so uh, um, according to this statement, using the T table shown on the next page, we can be able to identify the T value of a certain data. Okay, so the uh, a T table is different from Z table. Okay. So, let us be familiar first with the following words. Okay, so for the degree of freedom, this refers to the maximum number of logically independent values which vary in the data sample. Okay, so you, uh, we will understand or you will understand it more deeply okay later when we uh, have the example already okay so for the percentile this is a measure of position with data divided into 100 parts okay so if you still remember the uh, uh, lesson from grade 10 the measures of position okay so that is uh, the the percentile is under that lesson the the measure of position okay so actually in measure of position we also have quartiles and deciles okay quartiles divided by four and then deciles is divided by ten okay so for percentile it is uh, divided into 100 okay so 100 parts below is the t table which you can use to find the t value okay so here we have right tail area okay then uh, degree of feed, uh, freedom yung yung the uh, value okay so just scan it okay okay yan. so here we are we have the uh, example okay so according to the uh, example okay first one okay um identify the t value whose number of samples okay so that is seven the uh, number of samples as an uh, area okay so this is alpha no okay uh, equal to uh, 0 0.05 okay then for uh, number two find the t values degree of freedom is 20 and has an alpha of uh, 0 0.01 okay for number three identify the t value of the following percentiles given the number of samples okay so for 95th and then for the 90, uh, 90th percentile. Okay. Okay, so by the way, guys, the uh, T, uh, T distribution is used to estimate the uh, parameters when the uh, sample size is small and when the uh, uh, population variance is unknown. Okay. So here we have the uh, solution. Okay, so again, um, to identify the t value okay so identify first the degree of freedom using the formula okay so n minus 1 where n is the sample size okay so again yung 7 po natin uh, this is the sample size okay so let's uh, see okay so this is n okay so for the sample size that is 7 okay and then that will be the uh, degree of freedom okay so we have 6 then after that, locate the t-value on the t-table using the degree of freedom and the area. Okay, so we have the degree of freedom of 6 and we have the uh, area of uh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.05. Okay, so where is the, where's that? Okay, so this is the area. Okay, so 0 0.05. 
Okay. And then, okay, so we have to look for its intersection. Okay. So, 0 0.05. Okay, so right tail uh, area. And then we have the uh, degree of freedom of 6. So, that is 1.943. Okay. Then, therefore, the uh, T value with sample size of 7 has an uh, area of 0 0.05 is uh, 1.943. Okay. So, for number 2, since the degree of freedom of alpha are already given, locate the T value on the T table. Table, ano? Table. Okay, guys. So, uh, maybe you're getting trick, ano? Uh, in, um, in these examples, we are just locating first the uh, t, uh, the uh, t uh, value from the uh, t table, uh, table. Okay, so this is not yet the uh, uh, word problems. Okay, so for number two, again, so find the t value whose degrees of uh, of uh, freedom is twenty and has an alpha of point uh, zero one. Okay, so again, so for the uh, degree of freedom, okay, and then for the alpha. So, 0 0.01, then find its uh, intersection. Then, we got this. Okay, so 2.528. Okay, so therefore, the t-value is 2.528. Okay, so for number 3. Okay, so the, the 90th percentile is uh, the number where 95% of the values lie below. Okay, so 8 and 5% lie below, uh, lie above it. Okay, so again, if you uh, watch the uh, uh, videos, the uh, previous videos, I have already discussed what is the uh, percentile means. Okay, so when you are in the, let's say, uh, 95th, okay, so 95th uh, percentile, then meaning there are 5% higher than yours, and then there are 95% below yours. Okay, so let's say again, uh, let's say in the uh, or uh, test score okay test score your score is in 90 95th percentile so meaning there is five percent above your score and then there is uh, a 95 percent below your score okay so you want the uh, right tail area to be 0 0.05 okay so actually this is the, uh, the uh, default area no or uh, default alpha Okay, so move across the row, find the column of 0 0.05, and then locate the t value using uh, n is equal to 30 or 29. Actually, this is supposed to be 29 because we are looking for DDF or degree of freedom. Okay, so n is equal to 30, this is the uh, sample size, and then if you're looking uh, in the uh, t table, then we need to use 29 because uh, we have to find the uh, degree of freedom before we use the t table. Okay, so 29, then 0 0.05. Okay, so 0 0.05 and then 29. So that is 1.699. Okay, so that is now the t value. Okay, so therefore the t value of uh, uh, 95th percentile with a sample size of 30 is 1.699. Okay, so for the uh, 98th percentile, the number where 90% where of the values lie below it and 10% lie above it. Okay, so you want the right tail area to be 0 0.01. Move across the row to and then uh, find the column of 0 0.05. Okay, hold on. There's a uh, error here. So, it's it said earlier that 0 0.01. Then here we have 0 0.05. Okay, so let's see. Then here, uh, it uses 0.10. Okay. So, I think there's a problem here. Okay, because uh, uh, here, it said that you want the uh, right tail area to be 0 0.01. Then, uh, it said here that you need to move across here uh, in a 0 0.05. But here, uh, they use 0 0.10. Okay, so, uh, uh, but anyway, uh, let's follow this. Okay, 0 0.10. Okay, because again, uh, um, in this example, we are just uh, teaching how to locate the uh, t-value on the t-table. Uh, okay, so there's some, uh, a little of a problem with this example. 
Okay, so here, so for 19, okay, so that is the uh, DF or degree of freedom. Then, uh, they use this the point 0.10, then that is 1.328. Actually, when they use point 0.01 here, that, so that is supposed to be lie here. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, from here, then the uh, value is supposed to be, okay, this one, 2.539. Okay, so again, uh, that's okay because again, the uh, this example is just teaching us how to locate the, the uh, t value on the t table. Okay, so but in word problems, if there is some uh, this kind of or such kind of, uh, let's say a problem that's said to be a 0 0.01, then I find the column of 0 0.05, then that that is absolutely a mistake. Okay. So, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Because as we said, no, nobody's perfect naman. Okay. So, let's move on for what's more. Okay, so for what's more, this is uh, all yours. Okay, for what's more. Again. So, let's proceed to the... Uh, ah. Okay. So, I think we're done with this uh, module. Okay, so, yan. Yeah. Okay, so let's see again our uh, competency if we uh, already met. Okay, so here. So the first one again is to uh, illustrate the uh, t, t distribution. Okay, t distribution. Okay, so again, the uh, t distribution is used to estimate the uh, parameters when the sample size is small and then when the population variance is unknown. Okay, so, okay, so definitely we uh, uh, illustrated the t distribution and then for the second one is to identify the percentile using the t table okay so we already uh, did that using the three examples okay but unfortunately there is some uh, let's say uh, error or uh, some a little mistake just just a little mistake in the third example okay but uh, anyway that's again i said that's okay because we are just teaching how to find the uh, uh, t value using the t table and then the uh, percentile using the t table okay so okay so we are done with this module for uh, this video okay so again don't forget to share this video to others so that we can help others <laughs> Okay, so once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and again and again, always keep safe and God bless you.